Dudley's back with a brand new sneak peek of a painting I'm working on. I know a lot of you, I remember a couple of, well, my last video kind of mentioned I'd be, you know, uh, sharing a sneak peek of my newest painting. And basically, this painting is titled Valley of the Dead. I think I mentioned that on my last video. And I know you're all wondering what does that mean exactly <laughs> it's about one quarter of the way done I got a long ways to go long ways to go but I did manage to get the whole background the sky done with the moon floating through stuff like that so it's illuminating this valley down here now you're probably wondering why Valley of the Dead there is a great a great reason for that if you look really closely here you see all those little black dots in the center section there? So like a deep uh, valley there? That's why it's called Valley of the Dead because you're looking downward at this graveyard. These are actually tombstones and stuff like that. All these, I got a lot, like I said folks, it's only about one quarter of the way done. But all these are tombstones and stuff like that. They're kind of like, and we got the larger uh, outskirts of the valley right here. Kind of, You're kind of looking downward you get, you get that sense you're looking downwards. See, if you watch, if you look at these peaks, right, all these well, land masses, what do you want to call them, they kind of go downward into a, like a valley, which is deep in the center of the painting. Same with this side over here. You, you see kind of like a slope going down, stuff like that, you know, and it basically you're kind of like looking, this is where your focal point is going to be, right here. You know, and like I said, I got the background already done, the sky and the mountain range in the background, or hills or something. We don't even really know what the what the hell is back there, right? Look at it, look, so I kind of made it all misty back here. Now this is where your sky kind of ends right here. It goes up and it kind of ends right there with the moon over there, you know, kind of illuminating like this section over here, right? You know, to kind of give us some kind of like a midnight ambience type thing, you know, creepy and dark and foreboding, you know, like I like to do. And I, I, I kind of did all these peaks, uh, these higher peaks. Uh, I actually did this whole thing one night, <laughs> believe it or not, about three hours. I was just really, really psyched about this painting because I wanted to kind of do something in this vein. So all these valleys are going downward. They go up higher here. They're going downward towards the valley in the middle with the tombstones, basically. So there's a lot of work to be done here. I started adding all these trees, dead trees, and I got so much more work to do here, folks. And then up here is still going to be a, a higher plateau, so you're really going to be looking really down at this valley down here. I wanted to make it really deep, really deep. And I think I've achieved that because I want the viewer to kind of get the, the idea that if he's standing up here or back here, right here, he's going to be looking at something down there trying to figure out what the hell. Is that a graveyard down there? Of course it is. He doesn't understand that. I do. You do now. But whoever's traveling on this road down here and up on these mountain ranges or what do you want to call them, rock formations on both sides over here, he's going to be looking directly down, directly down at all this stuff right here. Trying to figure out, is this an ancient graveyard or is it just, you know, it's just, you know, mankind has not ever discovered except the, maybe the, the people who buried all these people here, something like that possibly. You know, this could be like an ancient burial ground of some sort, you know. I'm not sure how I would describe it other than that. Uh, but like I said, I got the background completely done here. You know, all this stuff right here is completely done. I'm not gonna add anything more here except maybe dead trees and stuff coming up here on both sides too. You know, dead trees up here and everything. Tons of little dead trees coming up. Smaller, 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 smaller. Because technically you wanna make them really small as you get up towards the sky and they get a little bigger as you come down, of course, because I, I want I want the viewer to kind of look at this painting and go, I'm not going down there. <laughs> you know? I'm not going down there. I get my fingers right, you know. There's, look, there's, there's zombies down there. I'm not even sure, man. There's like hundreds of gravestones and tombstones on there. You know, what the, what the hell, what, you know, what is this? You know, it's just like a forgotten land, a forgotten graveyard, a forgotten graveyard from, you know, from hundreds of years ago, maybe. I'm not really too sure. I just kind of come up with these stories and think about possibly all the different scenarios when I'm kind of creating this particular painting. 
And now a lot of people don't like these type of paintings, but I do like these dark and foreboding type paintings. You know, post-apocalyptic type paintings, you know, with, you know, fog floating through and, you know, how, you know, hovering over the tombstones or, you know, the gloomy looking sky and stuff back there, you know, and like I said, I, I was really working on this painting heavily a few nights ago, man. Uh, probably on Thursday night or something, like Wednesday night, maybe three or four nights ago. And I, you know, it's really hard to take, to pull yourself away from these paintings. Because once you got the sky done, I did all this in one night. You kind of just keep going. You kind of create your own little story, like I've said about a thousand times. You just create a story. You got this part done up from here to here, right? And then you start creating something down here, over here, down, down, down center parts of graveyard maybe there are zombies down there maybe it's the land of the dead who knows you know i wanted to i think i'm just gonna I, this is only a tentative title valley of the dead i think that's not a bad title for this particular painting and that's why i wanted to kind of make the center section right here just strictly a graveyard you can't see much detail down here except the heads of the tombstones pick, popping up all these little black specks and everything you can vaguely make this out see this it's actually going to go the graveyard is actually going to go down to about right here i got to add a lot more detail down here grave uh gravestones and stuff like that more up here shadow them out a little bit where they're actually you know where they're actually planted the tombstones you, you got to make a little shadow around them and stuff to kind of give a, the impression that uh, they're they're being uh you know the moon is basically reflecting on them and the shadows are na naturally going to go kind of like this way or they're going to kind of go this way you know so you give the you get the the you give the viewer a kind of like a little story you know that's what i'm trying to create here you know this is kind of perfect uh I was kind of thinking about, like I said, Valley of the Dead is only a tentative title. I kind of like that title a lot. Now, when I when I finish, I'm not going to show this painting again until this completely finished, like I did my other two previous paintings, Shadowlands and The Road Home. So this is basically a long ways to go on this painting, but I kind of wanted to show you what I was doing after those two paintings were uh, completed in recent weeks or a month or so. So basically, there we go, see right down there. I want, like, I like these little, I like I like the way how it slopes down into this valley down here, these big high rock plateaus, you know, and stuff like that, groundwork and stuff like that, and they all kind of have that really, uh, you know, creepy downward slant. You know, it could be a it could be a mile to go down to this graveyard from any of this directions. You know, right here or down here, or something just go sinks really deep down here this way. So basically, you got a valley. Like I said, you got a valley that you're looking down at. I I kind of like looking at those kind of paintings and doing these type of paintings because I feel that if you were to make the graveyard completely level with these rocks, it would be okay. But I wanted somebody to kind of get the the sense that there's a, a deep valley here, a deep graveyard. You know, the, uh, it's not wise probably to venture down there unless you have a loved one that's uh, buried down there. But I kind of consider it like this. You know, I, I'm always coming with these old stories. This could, like I said, this could be an ancient graveyard that's been here for hundreds of years. And not too many people have ever ventured down in this area. And maybe they never came out. Maybe they did venture down in this area and they never came out. You know, or they want, or maybe they went too far this way, and this is the beginning of the graveyard. Maybe it goes further when these darker areas over here. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to bring this lightness all the way up this way. I wanted to have kind of like a, a dark section here where, where the graveyard kind of maybe starts, and then it comes this way, and it kind of gets a little bit lighter because of reflection of the moon up here, right? So basically, I'm kind of just. I'm trying to create a little story here, a little story, you know, and, you know, you can, like I said, you can, you can use your own interpretation of what you think it, it means and everything like that, but I know what I did from the beginning to this point right here, and I know where I'm heading with the painting, you know, stuff like that, so, I mean, anybody can work their own scenario into this painting and kind of decide, you know, what does it mean to them? 
what does it mean to their friends who see it or the, the public who sees it when it's completely finished or even at this particular stage right here, right? This stage right there is even though it's a long ways from finished is still, let me get some water here first. I got my ambient music in the background kind of thumping away. I kind of like that, you know, that dark background, of course. Of course, I'm off on my job again five days in a row. This is my first day off, so I won't have to go back till next whatever. <laughs> it's six days, <laughs> five days, and I can do a lot more in this painting. I, I actually got to kind of wait for some of this stuff to dry. But we see with, with the poker here, all this stuff is kind of wet a little bit. It's not thoroughly dry right here. It's kind of got some, I, I, I textured the rocks where they're kind of a little more bulky looking. So basically it takes longer for the paint to dry. It just becomes like more solid, you know, basically. Instead of like a smooth surface, which dries within a few days, these will take a little bit longer, all these things right here and over here and up like this. So basically, I kind of got to wait for this painting for maybe another few days or a week or so before I start adding massive detail into this section here. Maybe more rock formations and more trees sticking up, dead dead trees, of course. Got to have dead trees in a graveyard, right? That's that's how that's what it's all about, right? Oh, we're up to 11 minutes. I'm doing pretty good. <clears throat> it's the same thing over here, too. You see all these, the beginnings of all these trees coming up. Just a few of them. I didn't have time to do a lot that night. I was already, it was already like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. I, just, I decided to call it wraps. I wrapped it up, basically. And I've kind of been letting it sit for about, oh, let me see. It's four days now or something like that. I think Thursday, Friday, so three or four days. So basically, like I said, it is still wet in some of these areas. That's why I gotta be very careful around the uh, easel so I don't bump it or touch it or something like that. So yeah, so like I said, so much more details gotta be put here, so much more. Same with this side, same with this side. You know, in the smaller detail up here, the trees up here, smaller trees here, up towards the, uh, well, you wanna call it the beginning of the graveyard or the horizon or where the moon in the sky kind of, uh, you know, collapses down on the graveyard, so to speak. So, like I said, and I'm also, like I said, this section here and this section here are going to be, once I get all this dry, all this section is going to be built up more. So you're even looking further down at the graveyard. I want this section to be much higher than what it is right now. This was just the beginning now uh, section to kind of give the, the impression that you're looking downward at the graveyard from this section here. So this, all this stuff is going to be raised up a little bit. You know, so you're real, like I said, like you're, you're, you're standing on top of a, like a, a small mountain or something in, in these areas here. Same with this over here. So based, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I just, I just come up with these weird stories, you know, I mean, you could, like I said, you can, you can, you can come up with your own particular story on this, you know, and stuff. It's up to you, but yeah, you know, I have, this, this painting is actually turning out good. I, I actually already started another painting and that's really gonna be awesomely cool. <laughs> Did I say awesomely cool? Oh my God. What the hell am I, 17 years old? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I got another video I'm gonna be doing later on tonight, Spidey doing a movie of a review of Transamerica. I'm gonna probably post this uh, particular video tonight in the Transamerica with Spidey Presents too. So. I gotta get this one out of the way first. Cause the paint stinks. <laughs> and I put it in a special room where I can't, you know, it doesn't affect my health or nothing like that. Like I said, it's it's just artist oils and you know, acrylics doing the trees and stuff like that. You know, it's just all kind you know, I like I said, I don't use a lot of different uh, you know, acrylics to a certain degree, but mainly artist oils because you can blend a lot better, I believe. Even though a lot of people use acrylics and watercolors and all that kind of stuff and, you know, pastels and stuff like that, you can still blend all that stuff really properly too with the right solvents and stuff like that. I just use linseed oil to, to thin out my paints, you know, if I need them really thin to create the, like these trees and stuff like that, dead branches and whatever, zillions of little tiny twigs and I use, I actually use ball, uh, jelly pens, jelly pens, you can buy those at any art store in the world, they're really super fine, uh, I mean they, they go, 
check out jelly pens on eBay or eBay and stuff like that, and then art art uh, supply houses and stuff like that. They're very popular for writing and doodling and all kinds of stuff. Zillions of colors to choose from. You get you get you can get a really small line too, like the the size of a hair practically. You know, so all these twigs will look more realistic because it's all be much smaller. You won't be able to make it out very well, but you know it is there. You you can look really closely at the pen. You go, hey, there's all kinds of uh, little twigs popping out from these big uh, tree trunks, you know, and dead trees. Of course, you got to put the detail in. You got to put the detail in. That's what it's all about. But anyway, and, and uh, like I said, I, I'm not sure where, I think we're gonna probably do these sections probably in a couple days, finish off these sections first and the center section, you know, make it nice and gloomy and doomy and maybe fo possibly foggy. But I don't wanna take away from the detail of the, of the, of the, the tombstones that you can see right there. So I might have to keep the fog down to a minimum, maybe no fog at all, I'm not too sure. Then once all this part is completely done up to here, and I'm satisfied with it, this is done up here, we're gonna finish off the bottom part. The bottom part on both sides, right here, right there. So like I I could just leave it the way it is, you know, I could make it, the, you know, it's not too bad the way it is actually, you know, but I kinda wanna, I wanna peek these out a little bit higher, right here. You know, like little cliffs, so to speak, you know, and you're you're standing on a cliff looking downward at this valley. You know, you. I don't know if you want to go down there, like I said earlier, like, I don't know if you want to go down there because, you know, maybe you may not come out. You may not come out. You know, this could be, well, you know, this could be your, your final resting place possibly, you know, along with all these hundreds of tombstones and you know, grave markers and all kinds of stuff down here, man, you know? And like I said, back here, you're not sure where in the hell all this shit goes back here. You know, could be just like, you know, this graveyard could actually stretch all the way back here where it's dark back here and stuff like that, you know? But you wanna kinda keep the main focus of the detail right in this section here. You know, you're not gonna be able to see the tombstones way back here, way too small. You know, this is about as uh, small or as large as you want to make the tombstones. Otherwise, the, the painting gets, uh, it gets out of focus, not really out of focus, but what it really does is it's out of perspective. You got you to gotta keep a really nice perspective here. And that's what's really important, a nice perspective. You know, this actually, the tombstones look much smaller, of course, than the sides, of course, and that's what you're trying to uh, achieve here. You're trying to make, give the, the the viewer a sense of a valley down here, like I've said 80,000 times already in this video. You know, so you gotta keep this, the, you're not gonna make anything larger in here with the tombstones. This is about as big as you wanna make them. Just enough to make out the detail, and of course you look at the name of the paint, painting on the bottom, you know, once it's reproduced and put out as a uh, limited uh, uh, edition print, you want, of course, well, I have to come off the title and right now, like I said, Valley of the Dead is pretty good. Uh, there might be a better one out there if I think about it, but right now I kind of wanted to go with that. Just to kind of give the impression that this is a dead graveyard. Maybe this is maybe this is like a thousand years old. It's been there a thousand years, 500 years, who knows? Who knows? You know? I think once you see this painting completely finished, you're gonna really like it. Right now, I'm pretty damn satisfied with it. We're at about 18, and 18 minutes and 50 seconds so far in this video. I'm gonna kill the video in a couple minutes. So, like I said, if you want to comment on this painting, and maybe, you know, if you, want, if you think that you have a better title for this painting, uh, you know, post a comment. Otherwise, I'm, I'm kind of, I at least, you, like I said, when I do titles for my paintings, I usually write down a half a dozen different uh, titles on a, on a little notepad, and I kind of just whittle them down to the one I think works the best. I have a few other ones I have written down, but I kind of like the Valley of the Dead. I don't know why, it just seems to fit this painting perfectly so far. I like this, I like this, I like this painting, man. Look at all these tombstones, man, look at all. I'm, I'm still gonna bring the tombstones way down here, too. And this is about where they're gonna end, right about in this area here. 
you know, I'm gonna have a few more scattered out here and there and over there, you know, not up in the hills, but just in the center section, you know. Maybe even have a foot, uh, a foot path somewhere down here where you can actually venture down here if you wanted to and go into this particular graveyard. So I'm kind of thinking about doing that where you see all this light stuff right here, you know, a really small foot pad like the the road's been traveled thousands, hundreds of times over the, the years, the decades, the centuries, going down into the graveyard, maybe to visit loved ones or to see if there's anything really evil or creepy down there. Right now. You may not come out, you may not come out, you may not come out. Okay. Well, like I said, if you want to comment on this painting, you know, give me the thumbs up, you know, come up with another title besides Valley of the Dead. You're more than welcome to do that. I'll kind of, I'll consider it. You know, I'm open for suggestions. I always am, you know. But like I said, I kind of, I kind of look at different titles and I come up, you know, I just kind of find which one fits the best, you know. And right now, it's like I said, it's Valley of the Dead, but it could change. It could change. So next time, like I said, next time you see this painting, it's going to be completely finished. So I just wanted to give you a sneak preview of this painting to kind of get your, to kind of, you know, you can critique it, you know, you, I can critique it, you can critique it, you know, and stuff like that. I, you know, I just, I, I told you I was going to do this. I was going to give you a sneak peek about uh, three or four days ago on my last video. So anyway, I'm going to get going. And like I said, if you want to subscribe, you want to comment, give me the thumbs up, you know, and stuff like that. I'd appreciate it. I'm more interested in comments to tell you the truth than, you know, than um, uh, views are okay because if you're looking at it, that's a view for me automatically on my uh, view board and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, that would be very helpful if I could just get some feedback on this. I do have a few people that like the feedback on my, uh, my paintings, which is really nice. I do appreciate that very, very much. And, but like I said, if you want to comment and do the normal shtick, on my uh, description below with the comment section below feel free to do so and like I said we are going to be doing another Spidey video in just a little while and that's going to be posted probably tonight too so this will be posted Spidey Presents will be posted tonight and I told you before I was going to do Transamerica I got that all queued up it's all I got all the crib notes uh, uh, written down and you know and stuff like that so that's going to come tonight it's only like it's not even nine o'clock at night so until next time, folks, we will see you later on in YouTube. <laughs> How about that? You take care now, man, and be the, ooh, be careful. Don't go down there. <laughs> see you later, man.